He was told that uh, he either gets the noose or he's in solitary every time he comes. And I don't know if you remember when we was on the run the first time. He wanted to die fighting the law. Because he didn't want to be put in solitary. Yeah. So I made a deal with Big L to permanently take my uncle's deal. So you're going to let it try to break you instead? Honestly, it ain't as bad as it used to be. <laughs> Just try not to let my mind become the the prison, I suppose. Seems like lots of people are going to be coming in and out. Yeah, honestly, the hot box is worse than this. I can only imagine. It's where I ran out when I first got here. <laughs> Yeah, they, uh, the old solitary was, uh, did you ever get put in the old solitary? No. Basically the hot box in complete darkness. No bed, no place to go to the bathroom. You can't move at all. This entirety just encloaked in darkness. That's why it broke them. I got a little bit more room in here, I suppose, but who knows? Maybe it'll break me in time. I hope it don't. You better not. Uh, the, the guards seem to like me, though. <laughs> Honestly, if you're not an asshole to them, they're not too bad. Yeah. It makes enemies of them pretty quick. Well, he ain't the brightest sometimes. <laughs> James either. Yeah. I had the one guard, uh, name's Bernadette. She was blown away, I was asking her what she preferred to be called, guard or Bernadette. They, she offered to give me chewing tobacco and shit. You know, I, I have this, you know, I have this crazy idea. I want to learn how to play chess. And I can't really learn from down here. But uh, if I learn to play chess, I want to challenge Big L to a game of chess. And if he wins, he can fucking hang me. But if I win, no solitary for me or my uncle. Do you think that's really the smartest choice if you don't even know how to play? <laughs> that's what I want to learn first, all right? So your first big game will be your life on the line? Hey. Every Goliath I face, there's a fuck ton of pressure, and I come out on top. How hard could that one be? Ain't gonna happen this day. It's for if I don't hang for Weaver. I want to learn on the outside. Come back and make the offer. If I even get out of here. You better get out of here. Been trying to find out information on Olivia and Carlo. Yeah. Know that the other night Dahlia was really sad for some reason. She didn't elaborate on to why. If I can be honest, she probably is your best bet. Dahlia? Of getting some information. Hmm. Talking her up. I've never really had an issue with her, so I might be able to. And she wears a corset similar to mine, so I can find good reason to strike up conversation. You know, a long time ago, she said I had the prettiest hair in the West. Really? I had the best hair in the crossing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> long time ago. Back when I had a mustache. Little mustache, not the big one. How are you old up? Doing okay. You sure? Jack, I think, is on a... Almost a suicide mission, or causes much death and chaos before he leaves, and... <laughs> then start a bunch of shit and leave. Ah, jeez. Leave me to deal with the mess. Mills and Alice get married yet? No. On Thursday, actually. 
Maybe if uh, maybe if I have enough good behavior, I can convince Big L to let me out. <laughs> Probably not. I doubt it. Yeah, I know. You know, the craziest thing is, I think he likes me. Really? I've only met him once, and it was very brief. Uh, he told me that he wasn't going to uphold the deal. He told Zip that, and I confronted him about it, and a guard tied me up and threw me down here. He came down here, and we were talking, and I told him I wasn't going to tell him who fucking told me, and he'd go ask his guard. And he said, you know why I like putting people down here? Because none of y'all can accept the consequences. I said, really? You know, I seemed to blow all the fucking lawmen away when I said, if my neck snaps, so be it. It ain't my call. Sometimes you get dealt a shit hand. And, uh, I don't know, I guess after talking with him for five to ten minutes, he said that, uh, you know, for the first time, I'm kind of surprised, prisoner. You actually have balls. You're willing to take the consequences that anybody gives you. You know, I don't got respect for you, but I got respect that you're an ounce of a man, at least. So you know what? I'll uphold our deal. So. Here I am. Apparently that's what you need if a big L respects you. Things actually matter, I guess. <laughs> You're really going to keep yourself in here for as long as you're going to be here. What else is there, Aurora? I feel so much guilt. Don't put the guilt on yourself. Yeah, but if I'm in here, Casey can't be in here. If I'm in here, my uncle can't be in here. What's to say they're not going to put him in the hot box instead? And maybe they do, but at least they got each other. At least they got people. Yeah. I don't need people. I've, I can be alone. I was in the woods for a long time before I came to the crossing. I ran away when I was young. Lived on my own. Sometimes for work here and there. Sometimes in a tent. A little makeshift one. Sometimes just... In the middle of fucking nowhere. I don't need the constant talking with people. I might like to talk, but I don't need it. The guards were telling me, don't let the real prison become my mind. If I can keep my mind and my thoughts intact, then I think I'll be fine. If you're going to keep thinking about that guilt, it's going to eat away at you and you won't be. Yeah, I know. Because I can't... You know, I have a way with words, usually. I have a way of talking. I can give speeches and I can talk to people I know, but... As I, every time I grab a piece of paper and I start trying to write... I can't think of any words. It's a new feeling. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Is this a bad moment? It's fine. I'm just talking about, uh, just talking about how for the first time in my life, I'm struggling to, uh, find the words for things. I got to book I got some stuff I'm writing it helps make this Ugh. cell of mine not a uh a prison. a prison yeah so well they can capture the body but they can't capture the mind or some philosophical shit like that right that's what some of the guards have been telling me so I'm trying to hold true to it yeah I would you know why don't you just get yourself a routine and do some working out I don't know, a lot of people I know that have been in prison 
like to draw on the walls, but I don't know if that's going to look that good on you. Yeah, well, that's why I got this little book here. You know, actually, the only thing I got written in it so far is... Well, it's a letter. I want to get a few letters written. Don't write goodbye letters. Eh. If I can't talk to folk from telegrams, I can pass letters to people at least. As long as they're not goodbye letters. So did you, you find any gin filler? Uh, I did not, but uh, I just realized that the deputies that brought me in weren't very thorough with searching me. Would they leave? I got some steak uh, and some cigarettes. I got I got a whole ass beer. What the fuck? Yep. They left a beer? <laughs> well, the guards left... are the ones that care. Yeah, yeah, that's they true. Left oh, as they well, took my but yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to turn the bullets into the guards to make sure they don't get found and then I, I, I probably end up you know, with you right there for a little while if they do, but uh, how about you take the beer? I appreciate it. I see. All right. I don't think I can reach out to you. Ah, uh, I can't reach out to you, fella. Oh, luckily we're close. Here, I'm gonna throw these through. Well, you better ration it. Yeah, I ain't. Cause I ain't. Beer. I, yeah, I ain't got more. Yeah, I ain't drinking this beer. Just smell it every now and again. Mm, I'll drink it at either the worst news I can get or the best news I can get. Thank you. The both yeah, don't worry about it. Hey, at least you can tell Miss Aurora here that, uh, uh, she is a witness. I gave you a beer, so maybe Ollie should fucking shoot me <laughs> just to get that off my back. Yeah, I mean, hopefully he won't get shot. He'll probably get robbed, though. Yeah, whatever. I'll rob him back if he robs me. <laughs> I like how honest you are, fella. <laughs> I got uh... That's what keeps me going. Uh, you know, I do appreciate the honesty. I feel like folk will appreciate you telling what you're going to do up to their face a lot more than doing it and then cowering around it. I've been into some weird friendships because of it. I almost robbed a, a, another gang leader the other day. And, you what know, you name? had uh, Gavin Summers. <laughs> You know, uh, shit, you should tell him that you met a fella in solitary named Jabaz and tell him he told you that he's the, uh, the winner of the Sensica Olympics. He might stab you for that, though. Oh, well, I don't want to get stabbed for he a might, joke. He might, he might. I don't well, think I, he it will. It wasn't a joke. I beat, I beat him in Sensica Olympics. Oh, sure. Yeah. No, well, I mean, I, I almost robbed him. He was in the bar and he was disguised voice and everything. And he's like, what are you doing here? And I said, well, you know, I know people tax the people coming into the fishmonger. So I guess law don't really like this place. So I'm just hiding out. And he's like, oh, do you know which gang is here? I'm like, no, no, sir, I don't. But do you know the name of the gang? I'm, no, sir, I, I, I really Ooh, don't. That must have hurt his ego that you didn't know him. <laughs> I told him I've been in the crossing for two weeks, so maybe not. 
that's, that's the same thing Miss Hawk said. That must have hurt his ego. <laughs> Hawk's um, a good one. I like Hawk. Yeah. Yeah, she was all right. But, uh, yeah, she just said, uh, well, not, not she, but Mr. Summers said, uh, but he was just looking robable, I think, on purpose. And I just told him, Mr., I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I was going to rob you, but you're too nice. <laughs> and, uh, he did a dramatic switch of the voice and a cackle and he introduced oh, himself. God. And I still didn't know who it was until somebody else told me. Oh, oh my god. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny as fuck, to be honest. That's a story I need to hear. Well, he was he was quite nice. I don't see what all the fuss mm. is about. I respect him quite a lot, actually. You know, I almost yeah. want to go send him a telegram about how nice he is. Now, I, <laughs> how everybody in the I, crossing is talking about it. <laughs> I don't know. I, okay, maybe not nice, but... You know, he didn't seem like that much bad of a guy. If you know, if I was leading a goddamn gang, I would want to be kind of scary at least, right? Yeah, you know. Hey, you're not wrong. Maybe after a Sissica stay, he's gone soft. I haven't really seen him since. Do they call me? I don't me, think he's gone they, soft. They, no. they they say I'm a twisted fucker. I mean, I probably seem pretty nice though. Yeah, you're all right. I guess it's it's all perspective, right? People yeah. got sides to them I, not, mean, I only not, I only carve people up and put a bullet in their head if they done wrong I feel, I feel like most think, folk don't get that they just think I'm a evil cunt well you know how the crossing works I mean now uh, he killed somebody oh he killed somebody he killed a defenseless medic and uh, two days ago you find out that that medic I don't know, beat your wife up or something. Like, yeah, cool. Yeah, I, I forgot that part of the story. I see. Everybody twists the stories to fit their agenda. Yeah, yeah that's right. And even if they so, don't, even if they aren't the ones that twist the stories, somebody they talk to will twist the story. That's right. Yeah, apparently, I, uh, yeah. Apparently, I'm a moron or something. What, what do they call me? Uh, uh, well, I don't remember the exact characterization, but, you know, some fella was talking about a guy with a belt, bowler hat, and a mustache. I got none of them right now, but that was me. And I was a psychopathic maniac, but I had a, an empty gun. I didn't shoot nobody. I just took his money. I guess maybe it pissed him off that I clicked the hammer and it went, and then I went bang, bang. Maybe he didn't like that. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I didn't mean to ruin emotional moments. <laughs> no, it's okay. My, my, you don't have situation. to worry. You don't got to apologize, fella. How much longer How you long? got? Oh, uh, shit. I don't know. Uh... Maybe a little while more. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I kind of I beat the deputy that held me down while I was getting a mustache shaved off. You get um, a name? The deputy? Yeah. I forgot his name. Uh, Were they the ones that Kennedy, came in with Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kennedy, Kennedy and Zoe. Zoe. Mm. Well, he kind of beat my ass, but I'm just going to say that He also that ripped me ass. off my horse and slammed my head off the curb. Jesus. Yeah, he's a bit of an asshole. You know, if you want to piss him off, call him Cadeputy or Cadet. Yeah. He's new. He said it's been less than 24 hours. Yeah, I've been calling him Cadet, and it seemed to rub off on him the wrong way. He was really eager to to tell me how much of an unknown criminal I am. Did you tell him he's an unknown deputy? Uh, no, I just called him a cadet. I'll just make sure I forget his name every time and say I can't remember it because he's so unmemorable. Yeah, just, 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 if he introduces himself as Deputy Kennedy, just a deputy. Okay. Keep that in mind. Now, if I can get the whole of Saints Crossing to do that, then he'll know not to shave my fucking mustache again. I won't even have to shave his off. 
Eh. Okay, I'm gonna go back to looking for that thing. All um, right, the distillery. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, by the way, the the hut behind the barn is the same hut that yeah, you there, told there's me. Yeah, there's three over there, and then if you go to the right of those three, there's like obstacle courses and shit over that way. I didn't get to fully explore it. Right, no, I'll, I'll have a look at the obstacle courses. Y'all, uh, you'll do your thing. I'll, yeah. I'll see you in a minute, probably. Nice villa. Yeah, he's interesting. <laughs> told me he robbed. Uh, told me he robbed Ollie when I was telling him to uh, to seek out Mills. Yeah, about, he told uh, me about all robbing about deputies. Him. Seems like a good guy though. Yeah. Trying to find his way. I can hear you, Mister. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Everybody hears me. Yeah. Okay. Uh. uh. I talked to Lance. He was the yeah. only one I saw. Didn't I really see. tell him much besides I couldn't tell him needed to hear it from you. He seems to think your uncle's going to want to turn himself in. Yeah, probably. Yeah, my uncle's going to be upset with me for taking this. Yeah, he will. Yeah. Do you blame him? Not really, but at some points I need to understand that I'm gonna make decisions and he needs to just fucking listen. <laughs> hey, he recognizes me as his equal now. That's good. I think because naturally I'm the one that I'm the successor. I don't want Plus. any of you to get killed. Yeah. But your uncle seems are. like he's had a death wish for a while. Yeah. Come around to it. I've understood it. Not necessarily that I have a death wish, but I've understood why. You know? He is that way. Jack was planning on shooting off hostages' heads for the fun of it last night, I think. Jesus. He even admitted we were going to do a bank, but we kind of delayed because... He pretty much thought he was going to do that and get us all blanket charged and be in here for several years again. Ah. He said he doesn't care. He's leaving soon, so why does it matter to him? You growing your hair back up? I don't know. What's the point if I just keep ending up in here and getting it shaved again? <laughs> Go on the run for a long time. That's what I always do, so they don't shave my head. That's the that's the sole reason. You know, it's hard to find information I need to find on my west hiding. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thank you for that. No problem. It'll be a little easier if I'm not wanted anyway. I saw Dahlia a couple times last night, but I didn't stop to talk to her. Yeah, she's easy. She She's dumb, too. So, you know, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to love, do you believe it's a poison? I don't know how I feel about it. After Coyote, I never wanted to fall in love again. Not worth it. But I don't think you fully have a choice. I mean, if I had a choice, would I be in love with a lawman? Yeah, I suppose. My people, they were all split on what we think about it. It's a weakness and a strength. How'd you know? It's just, you'll do a lot for love, but it can also be used against you. What if you can't do anything for anybody? How would you know? I don't. After watching what, uh, what love did to Max, I gave up on it. 
After watching the shit my uncle's gone through, I gave up on it. <laughs> you say that, and then I'll smack you in the face someday. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My eye is kind of sore. <laughs> That's one way to get smacked in the face with it. <laughs> Uh. Nobody's seen Olivia. Anola's usually around and runs into her and Carlo, and she hasn't seen either of them. Oh. I need to fucking get out of here, man. Too. That you got yourself in solitary instead. Although this can yeah. probably keep you out of a trouble. Somebody comes in you don't like. Now you can't do anything about it. The, uh... The guards let me out for 30 minutes here or there. I might have to send a telegram to her to make sure she's okay. She didn't get back to my last one. That's what worries me. Anoa? No. Oh. I was with her just before. Olivia. This. Oh, Olivia? Yeah. I usually I... see her around. We ran into her the other night in Rhodes. She could just, I don't know, they cracked all of her skull open and nobody had seen him for a bit. Maybe she's just healing. Yeah, maybe. So I'm hoping. <sighs> I'm gonna fucking kill that cunt. You know, I've thought of ways to kill people and I was in Sissica before, but I don't necessarily take pleasure in the things that I do. Some of the acts of brutality that I want to commit upon that man, I will take pleasure in. I'm going to take Carlo and I'm going to drag him from wherever I find him by rope all the way back to the Armadillo Saloon. I'm going to rip his eye out of his head with my fucking bare hand. If he ain't dead already. It's a bit gruesome. Yeah, well. He took my fucking eye. Hmm. Still haven't seen Dominic since he took mine. Tell you what, if uh, the war starts up... Because I'm going to tell Cesare straight when I get out of here. I'm going to tell him what I'm going to do to Carlo, and I'm going to tell him it's on him if he wants a war. You know, the thing is, I don't think it's going to be too hard. What do you mean? I guess Sonny was talking to your uncle with a lot of disrespect. Oh, I know. Trust me, I'm going to shoot that cocksucker in the knees next time I see him. I'm going to tell him he knows how to bend his fucking knee now. It was pretty much between the disrespect and not knowing what happened to you was why they wanted to do something. Do you have any idea how long you have yet? If they don't. Hey. Last thing I have is 18 years. That was the last thing I was told. But uh, that's gonna change because of the marshals. So. God damn it! How long have you been in here? For four now. Yeah. Did you ever know? Uh, did you know Olivia had a man? No. He's locked away in solitary, actually. Who was it? Fuck, I, I, I can't recall. I think going in a little bin, maybe I'll tell you next time you're in here. Hmm. I've been trying to search for his name on, in my fucking memory. Do you know anything about him? All I know is he was an old member. He got locked away, and he's been in solitary for over an, <laughs> since 1900. The only old members I know of, Al Lombardo, but he's not in here. And then some no, guy it's not Al. Furio. It's him. Furio? Yeah. Jack always says he was the only Dicenzo he ever liked, or was it Mills? One of the two. Makes sense why I like Olivia. People from the West like Furio, they probably were similar. Hmm. I 
didn't know that. And neither did I. We spent... I don't know. Three to four hours. Just talking. Drinking. You know how to play piano. Really? I said, do you know how to play piano? Oh, I thought you said you do. No. No. Um, I don't at all. I don't know. I might learn. I don't know if these hands are made for playing piano, though. Not very good with instruments. Yeah, neither am I. What'd you get caught for, by the way? Took a hostage to try to break James out. Zip got caught. Everybody else got away. I was with Enola. She... They're not letting her even... She wanted to give herbs to doctors, and they said they couldn't meet up with her because of her current status with the law. What the fuck? So she was trying to talk to Malone about what her status is because I told her that must mean she's either wanted or wanted for questioning. <sighs> so she was trying to talk to him, but then he realized it was me and came after me. <laughs> I got away. I yeah. went through St. Denis, went into the sugarcane fields, lost him in there so easily because as soon as you go in, you can't see. Looped around, went back, was going back through the city so he couldn't see me going up the tracks. Ran into Zoe and Kennedy. Damn. I almost got away, hopped on my horse, and thought I was away, but Kennedy appeared out of nowhere and threw me off and slammed my head into the curb. Jesus Christ. Seems like a gun. Mm -hmm. Then Malone showed up, didn't realize I was on the ground, and said, I lost her. I don't know where she went. Aurora, she was just here. Not seeing me laying on the ground right in front of him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, I've come to have somewhat of an understanding of Malone. You know, believe it or not, you know they were pushing first degree murder on us for Weaver. I heard that. Even though... I told that fella. You know, I told Malone when the they surrounded us. You know, lightning came down. And I believe lightning to be an omen. Always have. And I told him. I ain't never won a battle. Especially when lightning's there. And to get his fucking people out. Hmm. Now, truth be told, omens aside... I thought that might be the day my luck runs out. But if he would listen to me, Weaver would be alive. Yeah. Kind of rubbed in his face a bit the last words Weaver said. <laughs> said it on the back of my horse, I think. Said he was, I was right, and he was shit at his job. Yeah, I was, uh... I, I, I can't keep wrapping my fucking head around that night. The last night I was out of this fucking cell was felt like a fucking fever dream. You know, you know Olivia even beat the shit out of a lawman in the jail cells. Blows my mind that she would do that. I told her that, uh... I told her that she was the first thing that I, I get to see with one eye. I guess in reality she was also the last thing I saw with two eyes.
She looked different either time? No, she looked the same. <laughs> you know, I can, I, you know, for the longest time I did Edwin Jonathan as my telegram. Because mm -hmm. I'm EJ. But, uh, you know, I always used Edwin because when I first came to the crossing, Edwin wanted to kill my uncle. So I used Eve in, in my telegram to remind me of the name Edwin as the guy who wanted to kill my uncle. But, uh, you know, that's long, long. That's months ago now. So I think I'm going to start telling people Eyeless Jonathan 572. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Kind of fitting. Speaking of, Peaches is up and walking around. Good. And she telegrammed me. Good. I think she wants to see me badly. You and her were the only two I sent telegrams to about solitary. Yeah. Zip knows. Yeah, he saw them put me in. I asked him to tell Anola. Yeah, she and she's doing okay. Me. Yeah, she's doing okay. She's toying the line on what she wants to do. Being treated like a criminal even though she isn't one. Yeah, I know. She talked about it. You know, uh, I know you care about Zip, obviously. And I try to tell this to Zip. But, uh, you know, I don't know if I get through to him all that much. They, those two need to just swallow their, you know, I guess prides and just work it out. Because they obviously both care for one another. I've been caught in the middle of their shit for a while. Yeah, they're both just stubborn. Yeah. Zip doesn't understand how to take things from anybody else's point of view. Yeah, and it's a hard skill to learn. Something that you just got to know, you know? Yeah. <sighs> but, uh, Nola, she's a, she's a good woman. You know her well or just in yeah, passing? I know her pretty well. Yeah. She... One thing I think she doesn't understand about herself is if you are associating with people like criminals, the firm, Zip, you, me, she is going to get caught up and charged for things that she probably didn't do. It's just how it works. Yeah. She was mad about the Bastille and the questioning, and I said if that was me there, I would have been charged for aiding and abetting or obstruction of justice. No questions asked just for being I mean, it is silly, right? But it's how it is. Right. I mean, I think it comes down to... And don't get me wrong. I think Enola is extremely intelligent, but I think it comes down to naivety. Yeah. But just because she might be naive in the sense of how the law fucking treats people, I mean, she's still one of the smartest people I know. Agreed. She has an interesting perspective on things. Yeah, she does. She you know, has been writing to Casey. Good. She wanted me to make sure I told you that. Good. And she knows Norse mythology. So she writes to him for me. And I... As un, I don't know as much about Norse mythology. You believe in anything? Not really. I don't know there's much to believe in. Now the concept of the gods in Norse mythology is a very interesting one. I actually have two of the stories that Enola has shared with me in case on me. I asked her for uh, something about guilt in Norse mythology. And there's uh, virtues that a god named Asir lived by, and it's the nine virtues of Asir. 
courage, truth, honor, fidelity, discipline, hospitality, self-reliance, industri industriousness, perseverance. It's all the virtues. There's a, uh, I was, uh, I guess I was saying it while I was in down in here, but there's a, there's a fucking, uh, there's a song about Valhalla that she taught me about. It's about, uh, going up, the Valkyries bringing you up when you die in the battlefield and fighting. Valhalla is an interesting concept. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I have. That's where Casey wants to go when he's dead. But Casey don't think he can die. So that's an interesting... What? Yeah. I told you, my shit's fucked up, Aurora. That's why I feel so much guilt for him. He don't think he can die, and he talks to the gods after solitary. How much time you get? You, yeah, I thought it's all right. I, I figured you were in your head. No, oh, I, fuck. I don't remember. <laughs> you know, oh, how much time did you get? Oh, uh, I got like 130 days. Oh, shit. You know, they charged with hostage taking and, um, kidnapping. <laughs> Ain't that like the same shit? That's what I said, and then they gave me half off the kidnapping. But I feel okay. like you have to, you have to take someone a host, a kidnap somebody. Yeah, a, a hostage. hostage is kidnapped. But right? they said because we took them from Blackwater to Strawberry. I see. Interesting. I didn't argue it, but honestly, I think every time I've got hostage taking, I've gotten kidnapping too. Interesting. I can't believe you still are going to have at least, like, at least 14 more years in here. Yeah. God damn it. Do you think your uncle has similar time or more? I don't know. But I'll sleep easier knowing he ain't going to be in here. So one thing I don't like about being on the run, lack of sleep. Always watching over your shoulder. Yeah. I got comfortable last time. <sighs> Ever wish you could just go back in time? All the time. I heard that door open. My mind, my instincts were pull my gun. But I was 
enjoying myself so much. What would I it have changed even to. if you did? <laughs> she wouldn't have killed her own member. You think that would have changed any outcome she got? Yeah, maybe. I doubt it. Killing your own versus beaten with Jabaz. You think so if you shot him, she would have they would have expected her to shoot you right there. And I would have told her to. And then you'd be dead. I ended up getting shot anyway, Aurora. Would you have shot her? Pulled your gun and shot her? To save your own life? Shot her before. Would you have this time? Yeah, probably. You I don't know. That would be any easier on you? I would have just told her to shoot me in the shoulder and let me walk out. And she gave me the choice, so she didn't just shoot me down then and there. But at least if I had a gun on him, I could have got him to put down his fucking gun. I wouldn't even shot him for her. From what I heard, if he was talking about Sophia, that means he was having one of his episodes where he wasn't himself. You have his telegram. Carlo, no. If you get it, you let me know. Yeah, I can. No. If he's alive. She sent him a telegram. I just wanted him to, or her to see if she heard back, just to know if he's alive or dead. You know, the... You know, I don't know. I guess the worst part about it all is if I could go back in time, I would have never tortured that fella if I knew what the outcome would have been. It's a thing you can't go back in time. Yeah. doesn't help to think about what you would have done. It only matters what happened. What to do from here. Dwelling on the past is how you get yourself trapped in your head. Yeah. I just... There ain't much. There ain't much to do down here. I know. That's why they try to use this as a punishment. You get in your own head, you... Second guess all your decisions. Not the ones they want you to. I just, I've, I've got two cigarettes that are, uh, relaxing. You know, I forget what they called them. Remember Rick gave them to me in front of you? Yeah. I figure if I get real bad, if my head starts to get real fucked, I'll just smoke one of those. Ain't gotten real fucked yet. I got two stories. I got paper to write. I got this coin that I keep flipping. Whatever it takes to keep you occupied. Yeah. Yeah, I only pulled out three telegrams to keep me preoccupied in here. Which ones? Let's see. There is uh, two from Enola, which are stories, and uh, oh. Just pretty simple one. You were in love with her somehow, weren't you? Or at least I don't know. In fact, you held on to that. It means something. Uh. 
Oh. Got one titled The Guild, I've got one titled Elm and Ash, and then I just got that one. I hope she's alive. To be honest, I don't like her much, but I hope she's alive for your sake. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of somebody that likes her. But then again, I guess outside of our people, like in the West, there ain't many people that like me. <laughs> yeah. I remember God, my people were so convinced I've had to deal with it from my people for weeks just because I talked about her. I enjoy her company. I wanted to meet with her and they're like, oh, you're in love. You're in love. I said, nah, you just talk to people. I remember they used to get so confused because <laughs> people would call People will call anybody a bitch or insult them. And if I have any sort of liking for somebody, then uh, I'll defend them, even if there's somebody I don't necessarily agree with. I'll just say what it is. I'll just say to myself, you know. I remember Nola, she was like, yeah, Olivia's kind of a bitch. And I was like, whoa, no, she's not. She's a nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it doesn't necessarily mean you're in love. I mean, I hung out with a lawman forever that pretty sure wasn't in love with me, but enjoyed my company and spent a lot of time together. I guess it just means you cared for him in some way. Yeah. I don't know what I felt. I don't even think I could know love. Have you ever been in love? Nah. That I could tell you. Nah. Wouldn't know what it would feel like. Not really something you can describe, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't believe that motherfucker shot through her to fucking try to kill me. I wonder what they know about what happened. I don't know. So I have a few ways I can play this. I can keep sneaking around trying to find information. Or I can go and try to talk to one of them. I try to talk to Pearly. See if I can get anything out of him. But it depends on if you want them to know what happened as well. You got a good relationship with Pearly? Decent, yeah, I think I think Pearly is a thing for me. Well, I trust you. I trust your judgment. They're pretty good at keeping things hidden if they want to. Yeah, I know. I guess I got one shot that I'm going to try when I get out of here. I'm going to ask Cesare for a meeting. Me and him. I'm gonna make sure I clean up a bit. Probably get my all black out with a little hint of blue. Probably wear the tie if you like that. I don't like ties though. And, uh, Tell him 
one of the things she wanted to meet about was letting the wounds heal from the war. Be straightforward with them. What I plan to do to Carlo. And if that means war, that means war. But she wanted those wounds to heal so we can try to make them heal. And ask him about her. Carlo. Kind of go from there. If you get any information before then, yeah, I'd love that, but yeah. you think you gotta talk, you think you can do something, you think you can get anything out of Pearly, and so be it. I might wait for a while, see what I can get elsewhere. Yeah. Keep the feelers out. If it starts seeming like you might be getting the noose, I'll try to get an answer sooner. Alright. So at least you can know. I feel like I don't know. I, it, to me, I feel like she would have responded to my last telegram if she was alive. But maybe she's just recovering. She said she's going to get a split lip for meeting with me, at the very least. Mm -hmm. And as the night went on, you know, the more she started thinking it was more than a split lip. Hmm. Thinking about going another route, I could just keep running into Pearly and actually start flirting with him. I wouldn't do anything you don't want to do. I don't mind doing that. That's how I get a lot of my information going town to town. <laughs> get head on and just try to get people talking. <laughs> no, I... I like Pearly, to be honest. I don't know I why do. I get along with him. I did. Before they shot me down one of the last times, they had grabbed me. I was just riding my horse from Rhodes to Valentine. Honestly, was kind of not paying attention, letting my horse do his own thing. I was surrounded by six people on foot. Pearly asked if I had a man. <laughs> and then Cesari gunned me down. <laughs> just kind of fucked up. <laughs> Holy shit. They actually, I think at that point, somebody had asked about how attached I was to my horse, because I think they thought about just shooting my horse, but Cesari had other ideas. <laughs> hmm, it'll be fun. Give me something to do. And honestly, I care about Zip, but... It's nice to be away from him a lot of times. <laughs> He's always yelling and insulting people. <laughs> it's really hard to get things done that way. Is it like James? The way James insults people or differently? It It's different but the same. So James does it because he wants everybody to respect him. And if people don't, he just goes into insults. Man, one of one of the funniest things, one of my favorite memories of James. It's such a stupid one too. Is the <laughs> was the night that uh, remember remember when Pip got shot? We was in the saloon with y'all. It was me and Michael. We uh, the four of us. You know, we we uh, we took that lady doctor, took her to. Uh, strawberry and james james and i immediately said she ain't getting on our fucking horses and uh jack said no to getting on his horse because of how much shit james was giving him so she got on michael's and uh, when we we we, uh, we drop her off and as we're leaving somebody with like a slightly big hat walks by and james just goes nice fucking hat you stupid muppet and just <laughs> I don't know why, but it was so fucking stupid to fight. I don't know why. He he cracks me up sometimes, especially in Strawberry. Dealing with the fucking townies in Strawberry. Yeah.
You know, we we once we came into Strawberry and that some fella, you know that big fella with the orange beard that's always in Strawberry. Yeah, yeah. That fella got shot and uh, I guess robbed, and uh, he was like her holding his chest and he had a he had a fucking bolt action on his back holding his chest and I was like, well, you know, bolts are good money. And uh, we go up to him. And my uncle goes, "Why are you holding your chest?" And he goes, "I got shot." And my uncle goes, "You want to get shot again?" <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's one of like the most intimidating things I think that man's ever done in his life. Mm. And he, uh, the guy, just handed over the bolt. Just handed <laughs> it over. Didn't even put up a fight. Nothing. <laughs> I remember when James met you out back of Valentine. Looked like he was yeah. going to start something, and I walked up, made sure he at least knew who you were before he decided to start something because I knew he likes him. I remember that day. We bonded over Billy Joe Barber. Yep, that's right. As most people do that I talk with. <laughs> Everybody hates I, Billy Joe. Yeah, fuck that, man. Not literally. Yeah, I think a couple of weeks later, I remember I talked to him, but my uncle wanted me to be an outlaw. And he said, you know, you might be, you, it might be fate, because I was just having a talk about how he's a dying breed. Next time I heard something about outlaws being a dying breed was from MF the night we conquered Fort, Fort Mercer. Yeah. But there's 14 lawmen. How's MF? He's doing good. How's his son? I haven't seen him. I'm not sure. I know Kane didn't drop the badge. Yeah, I heard. But I haven't seen her out west, so... Good. I heard he, uh, he wiped the slate clean with uh, Boone and them moving forward. Marta, too. Which is good. Yeah, hopefully it sticks. I hope so. It's the one thing that I think Boone's boys were in on agreement with everybody else was that we said there's going to be civilians around, especially in Armadillo, and you have to expect they're going to call the law because what else can a civilian do? Yeah. You can't really I, hold that against them. True, but I, I guess I see their side of it too, though. The Those civilians in particular, they have a history with. Oh, yeah. I think it would be ones. different if it was random civilians. Yeah, because what well, they were originally saying about keeping civilians out of the West. Really? I didn't know that. Or didn't want to encourage them, where we had the opposite. We want to see the West thrive, and that's not going to happen without civilians. You think any of us are going to be able to stand behind a bar and serve people? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, yeah. I want to, uh, I really want to, uh, I think, com Converting folk and their line of thinking is the best way to do it. You know, if civilians come out that way, just talk with them, make them see some of uh some of us ain't all that bad. Might make them hesitate before writing a n o n. Yeah, I agree. How's uh, Thieves Landing? It's been dead. I need to find... There needs to be a group that will take it over. Hang out yeah. there. We're too wanted all the time to ever be there because the law always knows where to look. You know, with the canyon, I was going to... I really was thinking about trying to go for Thieves, too. Yeah. With y'all's blessing. Yeah. I had an idea for it. But I wanted Hopefully to way. run it by you. Hello there. Hello. Howdy. Oh, sorry, I could just hear you talking you from across the courtyard. Yes, I am. Hello. Mm, Manola's been waiting for you to get out. How you doing, yeah. Charlie? Um, I'm not doing too badly. I'm very excited because today's my release day. Mm -hmm. Well, congrats. Name's Jabass, fella. Nice to meet you. I, I, Jabass. Is that right? Yeah, yeah Jabass. Charlie, here's Jabass. part of the firm. Ah. Yeah, I know Enola real well. Oh, you do? I love Enola. Yeah. She's she's great. 
You're the one that's dating Chrissy too, right? Uh, yes. That's me. Like dead end kids, Chrissy? That's, that's right. the one. You know, uh, the first time I was in here, Charlie, they had me in here for 22 fucking months. Felt like 22 years. But, uh, Jesus. When I was in there, and Chrissy was in, and every time she, uh, I'd, I'd always make sure she was okay. I don't know. I just, the few people that were in there for life, I always tried to look out for them when I could. Because at the time, she didn't have a release date because of her shit with Sanctum or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole, uh, poking out eyes things, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Henderson once came in and, like, started beating her up, so I just I choked him out. Oh, fair enough. I had along with her, but, you know. Sometimes those things happen. Yeah. Yeah, it's only uh, natural. Are you, are you, are you both going to be in here for a while? But yeah, well, this is solitary. I'm locked in. So I uh, can't move. So you're, you're going to be in there for, like... Till they hang me, probably. Wait, they're hanging you? Possibly. Most likely. Jeez. The only reason I say most likely is Malone always talks about hanging people. That's kind of his thing. But Monroe said to me over the telephone when I spoke to him in Big L's office, he said that he wants to hang me. Which, if a deputy marshal oh. is saying that, you know. I have a go oh, have some with Monroe. Yeah, I have a meeting lined up with him. Do you know when? Playing it by ear. Big L said I'm allowed out for that. That's good. Is it going to be in Sissica or are you going to get to go to the mainland? Uh, probably on Sissica. Damn. I, I we could try to break you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. But uh, my people are in here. I think we're all of the mindset. One it, goes down, you all go down. Yeah, we either hang together or we get out together. Oh, well, what did you? Uh, what did you do? Killed yes. a former deputy marshal. No, well, yeah, that'll do it. Yep, so yep. we'll do that. Yeah. Took down fourteen law and a Gatlin gun as well. Oh, I heard about this. You're the fellas that did that, right? Battle of the bastards. Battle of the bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. That was quite the uh, hot news for a little bit. Yeah, everyone was uh, very amused at how uh, I badly I get the law did in that situation. Apart sometimes now. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like that. That's good. Who's this? Rebecca? Becca? Hey. Hey. How are Hi. you? What are you doing in here? I'll let you two catch up on Mama Stout anyway. I come back before you go, yeah? Okay. Uh, yeah. I'll come with you. Come uh, Made a deal. I have a lot of butter that Eddie Braithwaite gave to me. Yeah, he said it's good leverage, but um, I never had the opportunity to, to use it. I think the chefs use it. Yeah, but I, I haven't seen him. Um, and I did meet the other chef, but unfortunately when he was around, I was busy getting pummeled by the guards, so I didn't have the chance. You know how it is. Yes, please. I'm really, really. I've sent my um, my uh, uh, uh requests. Yeah. Have you sent yours? Ah, uh, how much number you got? Ah. Uh, Yeah, you can always uh, send it now, and then by the time they come, it'll be, you know, due for release. That's how it works, I don't know. Oh, 
that's, that's fair enough. As a, those, sorry, that person that came, Rebecca. Is are they are they in, are they intimate? Those those two people. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. 